Hey y'all, it's Jessica with Freedom Canine Training. In this video, I want to talk to you about why crating your dog is a good idea and show you how to start to condition your dog to go into the crate. I hear a lot of negativity surrounding crates and there are tons of reasons that people will give why they won't crate their dog. The reality is dogs have natural den instincts and a crate is a calming safe space where they can go and relax and ignore everything that's going on around them. Never use as a punishment. It should be a place where your dog can go to get away from any pressure that they may be feeling. Crates have a huge impact on separation anxiety and even aggression. It is an awesome tool to teach your dog coping skills, to self-soothe, and that the world is not going to end if they're on their own. Crates are also an amazing leadership tool. The very first thing that I teach, whether in a board and train or private lessons, is thresholds. And your crate door is your very first threshold. Teaching your dog impulse control to follow you as a leader, to have faith in you as a leader starting at that crate door is a game changer. The last point I want to make is that crates are great for helping you stay consistent with rules and boundaries. Crating your dog gives them structure when you're gone and limits their options for making bad choices or getting into whatever shenanigans they want to get into. I'm going to show you two different ways to get your dog to go into the crate. The first way, using your leash, you're going to walk right up to the kennel. You're not going to stop. You're going to say kennel up and guide your dog in. It sounds a little more difficult than it is. Uh, we're going to go pretty slow, so it's a little bit easier. Once your dog is in, you're going to shut the door and begin enforcing thresholds immediately. Come on, buddy. Let's go. One of the troubleshooting techniques that you can use if your dog refuses to go into the crate is you can use pressure. So what you would do is you would um, thread the leash through the back of the crate. You're going to use leash pressure to guide them in. As soon as they step in, you're going to release that pressure. You also want to add to that by marking it and rewarding it. Get me. Another way to get your dog to go into the crate is to lure them in. You can either try to guide them in with your hand or you can simply toss their food into the back of the crate and the only time that they eat that day is by going into the crate and eating. Happy break.
dog that already has a negative association with the crate or one that has separation anxiety, you could try a couple of things. You can get a wire crate with two doors, one in the front, one in the side, and you can either lure or guide them through as they go through the crate. The other one, the other option is to get the plastic crates, uh, like an airline crate, remove the top and have your dog practice placed inside the bottom half. All right, y'all, I hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to learn more about me, please head over to my website, freedomcanitraining.com. And if there's anything else that I can help support you on, please let me know, and I'll see y'all later.